my colleague for uh, having this special order. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to reflect on the 47th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision, which has had a devastating effect on protecting the sanctity of life and advancing the rights of the unborn. This ill-fated decision has had drastic, drastic negative consequences and has expanded the abhorrent practice of abortion across this country. But despite the devastating effects of Roe versus Wade has had on the sanctity of life, I'm inspired to see so many of my fellow members of Congress join me in continuing the fight for the unborn. Whether it be by signing the discharge petition to bring the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act to the floor for a vote, or by co-sponsoring legislation to prohibit the use of taxpayer funding in abortions. My House colleagues and I will continue to fight to protect life. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was proud to join the 206 of my congressional colleagues in signing an amicus brief filed with the U.S. Supreme Court concerning the Louisiana case of June Medical Services versus G. I look forward to seeing the court review this case and others in hopes that they may issue a decision that reflects the will of the majority of Americans to protect the unborn. I yield back.